Okay, we're going to go into how to set up a budget in QuickBooks. Now, this is QuickBooks Pro Premier and Enterprise. You can do the budgeting, and uh, it's a great little feature so that you can um, add your budgets and run reports based off of what your budgets say on a period or annually. Uh, so let's go ahead and set that up. Up here under Company, we've got Planning and Budgeting. So we're going to set up a budget. All right, and we are going to do the budget for 2011 since that's the current year and that's what all my transactions are. So we have some activity. Notice you can do it based off the profit and loss or you can do it off of the balance sheet. So I'm going to say next. You can do a budget per customer, which is really nice if you need to do a budget on a per customer job basis. You can also do a budget on a per class basis if you want to. So if you have different departments, you can you can add sub budgets for each department in your business if you have them set up by class. I'm just going to keep it as across the board. I'm going to say next. Then it asks you, do you want to create a budget from scratch or do you want it to pull uh, budget or pull uh, information based on last year's actual data. Okay, so it'll pre-fill your budget in based on last year's actual data if you want to. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to start here. Now, there's a couple things. Okay, so you can, uh, if you have a budget, let's just say um, you have all these sub items down here, but you might not budget out for every one of your sub items. You might just do a budget across the board for what you think your income is going to be. So I have the option, if I think I'm going to have $10,000 in income every month, I can put $10,000 in there. And then I can say copy across down here, and that'll copy that amount across all the way through the entire year. Then of course I can go in and edit, oh, I think I'm going to make more in this month and in this month. Okay, so you can go in and edit them on the fly. Uh, if you do have sub accounts, I mean, to make the, a pretty simple budget, I, I would suggest putting it to the header account up here. Uh, if you don't do month to month, then just choose one month and put the uh, put the information in there. Now, you wouldn't be able to run month over month budget reports if you just put it in one month, of course. So you, if you just put 130000 in January, um, you wouldn't be able to see February's budget versus February's actual. Okay, so I'm going to clear this and we're just going to go ahead and do a budget for um, just in January. So we're going to do year over year. So that's going to cover all of these sub items. Okay, and I'm going to do it only to headers. Um, we're going to say we've got uh, 1500 here. Okay. We're going to say that this is 1500. Okay. And I'm just going to copy this down. All right. Okay, so again, I get to one that has some subs, so I'm only going to put it to the header account, and I'm going to show you why after this when we, we look at the actual reports. Okay, so job expenses. Okay, and then we're going to keep going down here. We have our merchant account fees, purchases for resale. All right, keep going down. I'm going to leave that at zero, and if I leave it blank, actually, we'll see what that happens. Okay, you have your general and admin, and that covers all of my subs on that. Interest, meals, payroll expenses, leave that blank. 800 for professional fees, rent and occupancy, $1,000. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? 2500 and then we're going to leave the rest blank. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say save. And okay. Now I can always go back in to my budget and edit it. So I can say, oh wait, retainage, I didn't really want anything in there. Okay, so you can go ahead and edit it on any, at any time. Now that I have my budget set up, I can now go down to my budgets and forecasts sub uh, report here or area of reports and do a budget overview. But my favorite, of course, is budget versus actual. 
So it's gonna ask you based on which budget, and this is where you would choose. If you have budget set up for each individual department, you would say which budget you're running this report for. And we're gonna go ahead and say next here. And you can do a count by month if you want to. Uh, and I'll show you how to change it to annual on the actual report. And we're gonna go ahead and say finish. So it does it columns by month, but I just want it for the entire year. So we're gonna just change it over to year here. So it tells me here uh, what the actual amount spent is, and then uh, what the budget amount is, how much over or under budget we are, and what the percent of the budget is, okay? Now again, notice how I said I wanna put the 130,000 only to the header account, which means it, it creates this other, construction income other, which we don't like to see. But the idea here is you're actually gonna push the collapse button up top, and when it collapses it, all those subs get rolled up into just one um, area. So you have all those subs get rolled up and that total only shows on this report. And that way we can run this report and see how we're doing here. So we can say, mm, where was that general and admin? I had that 8,000 that went to just general and admin. I have no general and admin costs, so I'm doing okay there. Uh, payroll costs, I have a budget of 10,000, we're at 4,000 for the year. So I've got uh, an, addi an additional 6,000 to go here. Rent and occupancy, I, my budget was at 1,000 and I have 158,000 <laughs> that I've actually spent. So maybe I wanna take a look at that. Um, but that's a quick way to uh, look at your reports here and see how you're doing in your budget versus actual.